Hey guys, it's Rang Mountain Gamer coming back at you with another episode of Farming Simulator. And we're back on our farm today, and as you can tell, it's very dark, so I'm just... I'm... 120 times the time it... So I'm fast-forwarding out of this darkness right now. It's just I... I had it, that's when the potatoes fully grew, so... But we're getting out of it, so we're here today harvesting our potatoes. I got the course play set up. I'm just waiting for the first harvester to get a fair ways ahead of this harvester so that they don't bump into each other. Probably good to start them now. So yeah, I got the course play working. Two harvesters going. I sold a bunch of logs to buy this harvester. And then... I also bought... Um, these two trailers, agri liners. I'm not going to be using them for harvesting, just because like the setup I have right now works really well. But I will be using these for when I sell my sugar beets, hopefully soon. So I had money from the logs, so I figured, well, why not sell them? Yeah, I'm just going to keep this guy here because I think I'm done forestry, but I may not be fully done forestry. So I'm just going to keep him here. And actually I found a way better way to do forestry. And I never got to show you guys it on any of my Let's Play videos because... I just wasn't sure how it would work out. I honestly had never really tried it before. So I actually did a... I tried it. It worked well. And I actually did a tutorial video on it. Which I have not uploaded at the moment. Um, no set date for when that will be uploaded. It's kind of just on a day where I have no videos. Or I don't have time to make a video and I have no videos to upload, that's when I'll upload that video. Kind of like my last tutorial. And potato harvesters, they're the same thing as sugar beet. You do the same thing to set them up for course play. So yeah, the boys are going to do probably three episodes of potato harvest, and then we'll be in the cows and sheep, and then after that, we're pretty much done the, for this map, and then we'll be moving to a new map, which some of you guys may have, may have heard me say already, I think I mentioned it in an earlier video, but I'm not going to mention it again, because I kind of want it to be a surprise. But I have been kind of gearing up for that uh, Let's Play. And I've downloaded a few mods, which I'll show you here right away. I just, I'm going to unload this potato harvester. This may not be good right here. Okay, cool. Don't want to unload you yet. Just harvesting the potatoes. Actually, I'm thinking for next episode, I'm going to hook those other two egg liners up. Okay, so I'll show you the mods here. I've tried them both out. They both work well. And the cedar I'm, I'm really happy with. I'm not going to show you, show you them till 
I buy them on the new map, but um, I downloaded a cedar. I downloaded the Case IH Air Cedar. 32 meters. 32 meters compared to what we have right now is. nine meters so it's over three times the size but it actually it works really well I'm happy with it I tried it out it uh, seeds it cultivates I think I hope because I didn't try it on stubble but I'm pretty sure it cultivates and it fertilizes all at the same time it's absolutely huge it can do small fields in like two or three passes but I mean me downloading that size it kind of tells you what kind of map we're going to be on and then and another thing I like about it is you know see you're that big you're going to be kind of worried about the turning right well whoever developed it is an, an absolute genius because he made it so it, it goes through buildings and and trees when it's turning for the most part I think like it went through trees when I was turning it, so it, it should be fine. Like when it's folded up, it'll still recognize trees, but I think when it's only once unfolded, unfolded, it does not recognize trees. So that's a nice bonus. So it, you don't have to worry about, you know, seeding the end, the end of your fields to grass for it to turn, because it will turn through trees, which is unrealistic, but makes it all a lot easier and then the air tank on the back has a, a hitch so actually I took the Amazon fertilizer and I just hooked it up to the back and I mean it doesn't do anything but it's cool for looks so I'm gonna see if I can find a an anhydrous tank to connect to the back to make it look pretty cool pretty realistic and then the other one I downloaded was um, and then we're going to use this as one of our starting combines, the New Holland TF-78, which I had already. And then I downloaded the 8820 John Deere, and it, it seems to work fine, works just like a combine. It doesn't, I couldn't get the header out of the pack, I'm going to have to go back and look at that more, but... Yeah, the, the TF, we're probably going to have a couple TFs and a couple 8820s for our starting combines. Again, having that many combines tells you what kind of map we're going to be on, but I'm not going to reveal it until the first episode, obviously. So yeah, just an overview of what's we, what we got left. We got this episode of Potatoes, uh, two more episodes of Potatoes probably, and then I'm thinking maybe one episode where we sell a bunch of stuff, you know, great demand for sugar beets, um, rest of the silage, sell everything, make a ton of money. And then the plan is to buy field at, at the bottom there, right at the bottom of the map, field 19 and 20. Buy those fields, underseed them, not underseed them, seed them to grass. And then we'll buy everything that we need. So mower, forage wagon. Um, we already have the crone, which we probably don't need to use though, because we can just use the forage wagon and the mower but we probably will use the crone and then yeah straw chopper mixed rations all that good stuff so after the potatoes are going to be grown wheat just for the straw but yeah and the wheat harvest it won't be too much on screen it'll just be kind of a thing on the side So the boys are just here harvesting their potatoes. I de didn't even look. The sheep. Oh yeah, the sheep are just they're off over there at that barn. But I think all they need is, oops, sheep. Oh, 
All they need is grass, whereas cows need... Um... Do these ones... No, these ones don't need, need water. On another map I was on, they needed water. But, uh... These cows need straw, mixed rations, grass, you know. All that good stuff. Oh, another thing I want to do is I have, um... A bunch of slurry in the tank at the biogas place. So I want to buy... Um, where would it be? I want to buy a slurry tank. Probably this guy. Yeah, probably this, the Zunheimer Gullet Technic S. KE 18.5 PU probably buy him and use him to fertilize our fields just I've honestly never done it before and then I also want to do the the real manure use that too for <sighs> Ooh, long weekend May long wasn't in bed before 2 a.m. once all May long well, what am I doing here? Gotta pay attention. Let's let's say this. It was a good weekend. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait for this harvester to go by so I don't have to frickin' unload him too. So I don't know, I don't think I'm going to download any more mods for... Did I not activate you to stop while you are? I didn't. There. Um, I think I was saying, I'm, I'm not gonna, I don't think I need any more mods downloaded to, for the next map, because all we're gonna need are combines and a cedar, essentially, or cedars, essentially. I mean, we're gonna need a plow, and then honestly, that's about it. And then, I'm looking at some grain carts and uh, some semi trailers but besides that nothing else so I'm probably not going to download any more mods what's he doing because I probably got what I need gonna be sick set up that case IHL if I can get a nice anhydrous tank if I can put it on the case IH with with tracks it's gonna be a nice nice setup there you go Oh, what am I doing? Left it 120 times. Whoops. I guess we're going to the next day. Actually, I'll leave it here for the rest of the episode.
Yeah, are you not at a hundred percent? Now other buddies full. You know, just tramping the potatoes. Uh, something I've always been curious in is how I'm gaining my subscri subscribers right now because I am running uh, an Instagram account, a Twitter account, and a Pinterest account, and I'm planning on starting a Facebook account. So if you guys can leave a comment in the video below and just comment how you found my channel and you know if you clicked on the link on Instagram or on Twitter or on Pinterest or if you just found it uh, through YouTube be really appreciative really give me a lot of insight into what's working and what's not And we'll take these potatoes for a nice dump session. I got so much equipment in my farmyard. Even when I'm not recording, it's laggy. So, when the farmyard's in the shop, it's probably gonna, gonna be laggy. And since I've been talking about my next Let's Play, my next series here for a lot this episode, it's pretty much all going to be green. Probably all will be just strictly green, a lot of green. We're going to own a lot of combines, a lot of cedars, a lot of grain trucks, a lot of grain carts, and a lot of big fields. And we're probably going to be growing like strictly canola. Oops, what am I doing? Wrong bunker. Okay, what's going on? Okay, maybe I, I'm gonna hit it, f hit it from this side. Mural. First, I wasn't thinking. I was just pulling up to the sugar beet bunker. Like, it's just another day. Yeah, I'll throw. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna park this guy right here because I'm gonna end the episode here. So actually, I'll put him here. Probably be the easiest to try get those pain in the butt agro liners to to connect. They're so hard to connect. All right, so I'm gonna gonna end the episode here guys thank you guys for watching please like the video and leave a comment like i said earlier if you want to and if you have the time uh thank you guys for watching please subscribe to my channel and 
We'll see you guys next time with some more potatoes.